Hi there, I'm going to show you really quickly how to install a Tesla K80 into a workstation uh, machine. So here you are, this is my test workstation. It's uh, running an ASUS workstation class motherboard uh, and I have a, a Core i7 installed in it. I've actually, uh, in order to install the K80, I've freed up a CPU connector. This is a four uh, by two uh, uh, CPU connector. Now, this is a kind of interesting connector. It's not a PCIe connector. There you can see it has CPU written on the side. This one actually separates in two because you do get these kind of two by two CPU uh, connectors. These usually power, plug into um, a motherboard, but in this case, we're gonna plug that connector into the K80. So note, it's not a PCIe connector. It's, um, it's a CPU connector and it's a, it's a two by four connector that does that. So really important point when you're considering installing a K80. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I, this is I'm opening the parcel. This is a returned K80. Um, which um, I, I sold it on eBay and it was returned uh, by the buyer because uh, they couldn't get it to work. Uh, and we kind of, we, we figured out that it's likely to do with how the card is powered. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making this video where I'm, you know, um, uh, unboxing the card and I just wanted to show how to, how to plug it in and how to power it up. So this is the same packaging that, I, uh, that the card was sent in to the buyer and it's actually the same anti-static bag. Uh, so um, un unwrapping it and uh, the card is actually in, you know, it's in pretty much the uh, identical condition that I, I sent it in. Um, do a quick kind of visual inspection. And the thing that you're looking for on these kind of cards is you want to make sure that all the PCIe fingers look good, that none of them are burnt out. There's nothing, no visible kind of damage to the PCB. So everything here looks great. There's, there's nothing wrong with the card uh, physically. Uh, it looks like it's in good shape. So um, with that in mind, um, uh, installing it in, into uh, the free PCI slot uh, that you can see there. So I'm just, I'm plugging it in. I'm gonna screw it, screw it down. Uh, so I'm just create, putting a thumb screw in to hold it into place uh, for the duration of the test. Um, the next step is to plug the CPU connector in uh, to the card. And again, it's a, it's a two by four connector and it should be labeled with uh, CPU. Now, one of the things with these is they're passively cooled. So you gotta think about how to cool it. Now this case actually has quite a lot of cooling in, uh, in the front. It's actually, there's a radiator there with a bunch of fans on it. But um, what I wanted to do uh, is, is just to give this card a little bit of extra cooling because it doesn't have fans on it, it is passively cooled, is I'm gonna install uh, an additional uh, case fan in, in front of it. Now this isn't gonna provide great cooling and certainly I wouldn't run this card um, under a heavy load uh, with this kind of uh, cooling fan uh, connected to it. If you wanna see how to cool this properly, I've made another video for that. Checking the direction of airflow, which is kind of important. And you see there's a little indicator on the fan which shows the direction of airflow. Uh, and I'm gonna place the fan so that it's blowing uh, right down uh, the direction of the card. So it's things interfering with the fan. Um, and then we're, we're pretty much ready uh, to uh, power up the system. So uh, powering on at the back and then pressing the power button on the front and then fingers crossed, let's see if this card works. So there you see uh, the motherboard power light came on and that light is actually on the CPU cooler. That's the, that's the AIO pump, uh, which means that it's, um, it's started and it's pumping fluid through the, the liquid cooling. Um, you can see there um, uh, that uh, little um, uh, seven segment display is basically showing the power and self test codes. When it reaches 99, as it just did, it means it's finished the post and it's, it's ready to boot. So here you see uh, we're, we're getting ready to boot into the operating system. Uh, so that was you know, fairly painless. Um, now, the thing that we're gonna look for after we've got into, I'm actually running an operating system called Pop OS. It's a, der it's a derivative of Ubuntu. The nice thing about Pop OS is it has things like encryption built in, and it also has the NVIDIA drivers as a part of the install. This makes it really easy to set up uh, GPU-based uh, machine learning machines. So Pop OS, you know, try it, it's very cool. Uh, so here we are, we've logged into the desktop. Now, uh, to know that the card is working the way we expect, we need to bring out, uh, we need to bring up the X server configuration. So NVIDIA X server, 
so basically you're the, the launcher and you type uh, NVIDIA and you find the X server. And the thing to look for here is what GPUs are installed in the system. Uh, so you can't see that very well. I mean, moving the camera. So now we're seeing uh, the X server configuration. You can see that there are two GPUs showing up here, both marked as K80s. So both of these GPUs are from the K80 that we've installed because that card actually contains two discrete GPUs, each with about 12 gig of RAM. So you can see here um, how much memory they have, what they're configured, how much, uh, how much utilization is currently occurring. We can even get information on the thermal settings. So the nice thing here is I can check the thermal settings and I can see that the card is, you know, it's basically at 40 degrees, which is a very safe temperature for it. So you're okay to power it up as long as you don't put it under load like this. So everything working, um, uh, so card in good condition.